up folks, Bob Collins for Edgehog Dive Gear. In this video, we're going to be talking about attaching the shoulder straps, the waist strap, to the hard plate and to the soft plate. If you haven't seen the previous videos, I'm going to put a link up here to those videos on all the parts and pieces and how to assemble the shoulder straps and also down in the description I'm going to put a link to a PDF if you would prefer using that over listening to me. So I wouldn't, <laughs> I really wouldn't blame you. But stick with me, I'm going to be going over this stuff. Think you're going to enjoy it. Thanks for being here. I'm going to start with attaching the shoulder strap to the soft plate. Now the soft plate is an extremely lightweight option for you divers out there. It's great for travel and it's extremely comfortable. So all we have to have is our serrated keeper and we've got our completed, this is a right shoulder strap with the pad attached and everything. And we've got our soft plate. Now, I'm gonna do a little close up so that you guys can see how this stuff goes together. The soft plate actually has a metal keeper and a holder here. I'll kinda turn that, there you go, that's a good shot of it there. I'm gonna take the end of the right strap I'm going to go through the bottom slot with my strap and I'm going to pull my strap up. All right, so I've, I'm run through just like we see here. And then I'm going to take my strap. I'm going to run back through my keeper and flatten out my strap. And now I'm going to take my serrated keeper and instead of going through the top hole I'm actually going to come through the bottom hole I'm going to pull that down and then I'm going to go back up through my serrated keeper and then I'm actually going to come back around and go back down through. Okay, just, just kind of takes a little work to get it through there. Just kind of bend it over and pull it through there. We've got a nice clean lock there. Now, let's take a look at the hard plate. I'm going to use one of my plastic serrated keepers and the slide here I'm going to run my strap through and based on the adjustment of the length of my strap and everything I've now got my strap run through the back I'm going to do the same thing as I did on my soft plate and then we're going to turn and go back down through the serrated keeper. You've got a nice secure strap. It's no way that's going to come out of there. That's all we're going to be talking about in this video. We've covered the attachment of the shoulder straps to both the soft plate and the hard plate. And again, we appreciate you being here. I want to try to keep these uh, videos a little short so that if you just need to watch a bit of one or the other, you can do so without any trouble and without dragging it out too much. So again, appreciate you being here. See you again next time.